adding slides to your single note playing will add great expression and relax your fretting hand. Hope you'll join me for this entire tutorial because I'm gonna share some tips and tricks to really make your playing more expressive and benefit all your playing by having a loose fretting hand. Try this little exercise out. Here's a great exercise that really helped me years ago. Place your third finger on here and don't even pick and don't even fret. Just see what it feels like to slide up. And it's almost a joke how little I'm doing. I mean, if you could reach through the screen and hit my hand, you'd be able to knock it off the ukulele neck. So really just get in touch with that loose feeling. I'm sliding up two frets with the ring finger, okay? Notice also how my fingers are very floppy. If they are sticking up like this, it means that the tendons are not relaxed yet. So it's cool, just reach out and touch them and tell them to take a break. Now, we're gonna slide up two frets, slide down two frets. Feel the thumb relaxed, okay? For a small slide like this, I'm not even moving my thumb, you see? But it's very light, very light. Now let's add a pick. We're gonna pick that note, and slide up. The ukulele string is very thin, so it's natural for the note to kind of die out a little bit, but we try to slide in a way where that next note arrives and we can hear it. Go back to that first exercise. What did it feel like when you were doing nothing? Now pick and try to take that feeling with you. Take your hand off. Do it again. Pause, take your hand off. Do it again. Yeah. When you interrupt the tension, you develop good technique. It doesn't benefit you just to do it five million times in a row at first. You'll get there. But trust me, friends, it's like shooting darts. You line up each shot and try to hit a bullseye. So take your hand off after each time and relax. I've got more to share with you in this video, but if you're enjoying this so far, please click the like button. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, Ukulele Zen. I have a ton of content waiting for you that will benefit your playing. And if you want to get some bonus perks, some bonus lessons and other membership perks, check the links down below to join the Ukulele Zen community. So glad you're here. Now, let's expand our sliding. Let's go from the third fret to the seventh fret. For this kind of slide, you'll wanna take the thumb for a little ride, right? You, now, just pay attention to this. You see how the hand has to relax. It just can't grip tightly. It just won't work. So you're training it to cool out a little bit. Now let's get in touch with what that felt like. You're gonna to wanna to target that seventh fret. Yeah, watch it. And now, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go down the other way. And. Okay, it's a, it's, it's a balancing act. You want enough pressure on the finger on the string to make the note ring clearly, but not too much pressure. So, you know, your pan feels like it weighs a ton. That's a very crying kind of sound. If you were playing a blues, Ooh, now it's really crying, as opposed to. Right, where the notes are all separated. That's cool, there's a place for that. But when we connect the notes, it's just a lot more expressive. If you've been hanging with this so far, you're gonna start to notice something really powerful. Two things. One, as you practice in this way, you're becoming very present. You're paying attention to just one thing at a time, and this monotasking will really serve your playing. So do yourself a big solid, put a timer on your phone or use a kitchen timer and just do this for two minutes or three. That's it. Go deep, monotask into one subject. It's like digging a deep well that will collect more rain. Go deep into one thing. That's where the mojo comes from. Now, the other thing you'll notice is as you're becoming more present, you're not only relaxing, right? And the world, all the stresses of the world kind of, you know, they're, they're there at the practice room door. 
something else really cool happens as you start to pay attention how the finger can kind of pivot a little bit and then come upright. So as I'm sliding, it's as if my hand just moves a little bit this way. Don't overthink this. This is something that will happen kind of naturally as you practice these slides. Your fingers will tell you where to go. When we slow down and pay attention to our body, our body's wisdom starts to show up and guide us. Now, please use this over the entire A minor scale and let's improvise a little bit together using slides. All of our notes will sound great together. Please join me. Are you ready to jam? Let's do this. Nice and gentle, using some pick notes and some slides. Keep going. Just a quick one minute solo, a little haiku that you can play anytime. You know, just put a timer on or just feel what, what is one minute. Improvise for one minute, paying close attention to the sounds you're creating and encouraging yourself. When we're done with this exercise, make sure that you float your, your hand over your shoulder and give yourself a pat on the back for showing up and actually practicing. Not just watching videos about playing, not just thinking about wanting to play, but sitting down and getting your hands dirty, so to speak. Yeah, that's right, because when we are celebrating each little step, we are enjoying the process, and as the old saying goes, the journey of 10,000 miles begins with one step. In improvisation, it's one note at a time. We're not trying to burn down the house. We're not playing Richie Blackmore, Eddie Van Halen solos yet. What we're doing is we're just putting our mind, our heart, our hands, our instrument into the same place, experiencing some union of all those elements and just smiling, celebrating that we showed up to play. All right, friends. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Click right here for another tutorial for ukulele zen. Happy jamming.